this laptop did come with zero battery, which again is not ideal. And that's not ideal because you never want the battery to be fully dead. And in this case, it was. So we're just gonna turn it on by holding on to the power button beside the delete button on the top right. And once you do that, you should see a light on that button coming up. Then your screen has to load up. As your screen is turning on, it should say something like this, just a moment. Do not unplug your laptop at any point in time if it came with zero battery like this one. Now as your laptop turns on, you should see something like so. Now using your trackpad, just choose yes. So your trackpad's down here below. You can just to use it as a mouse. Using a screen reader. Turn on narrator by pressing Windows plus Control plus Enter. For more accessibility features, press Windows plus U or select the accessibility icon in the bottom corner. In this case, we can only use English or French. We're just gonna select English, click, and then choose any country wherever you guys are at. Once you do so, press on yes. I just want to show you on your trackpad, you can press on it or you can just tap. Both work. Right here, we can use a few ways. So US or Canadian multilingual standard. We're just going to go in with US. It's fine. Then it's going to ask you if you want a second keyboard. We're going to go on and skip that. So on the bottom right hand side, skip. Then it's just going to proceed to look for our internet. So we're going to take this out, this check mark and we're going to choose our latest one. So right now, this is my Wi-Fi network that we're going to connect up, and we're going to press connect, put in your password. Once you put in your password, press on next, and then it's going to check if everything's okay. Obviously, if you're having any issues with this, just try another network and you should be okay. Once you do so, just press on next on the bottom right, then it's going to check for updates. So at this point in time, if you did get a laptop that had some battery on it, some charge, which uh, it should technically come with some charge. Well, this is the time where you should plug it in because sometimes this takes forever and sometimes the updates also take forever, which uh, again, you don't want this to die on you when it's applying any of these updates. When it's checking, no big deal, but when it's installing, it is a big deal. After just a little bit, it should say just a minute, then it's gonna just restart. Then you should see this up again just a loading screen. After just a little bit, you should see something like so. About updates, then welcome, and just be patient with it. It does depend on your own internet speed, how long it takes to look for the updates and apply any updates. From here, just choose accept on the bottom right hand side. Accept and you have to accept these conditions. From there, just put your device's name. It can be anything you like. In this case, we're just gonna choose tech and design, Going to next. Once you choose next, it's just gonna say just a minute. And then you just have to do that, just wait. Then you should see a black screen again. It's just gonna kind of restart. You're gonna get a loading screen once again. And here we go. So at this point in time, you should sign in. If you don't have an account, you can make one. Right down here below, you're gonna see the sign in. So go ahead and sign in. So here we go. Just add your Microsoft account. If you don't have one, you can create one. You're gonna see that option down here below where it says no account, create one. So just click there and just follow the steps. So to create one, you just need basic information. But if you have a Microsoft account, right now is the time to just put it in there. All right, so once you put in your password and your account, you should see this. If you create an account, you should see this. So you can set it up as a new thing or restore it from a PC. So if you had a PC before and you just wanna restore it, choose that option. But I'm assuming you're brand new and that's why you're watching this. So just set up as a new PC. Or maybe you just don't want to transfer anything. It's fine. Just select that. Go on the bottom, next, and then create a pin. Now, this can be as complicated or as easy as you want. We're just going to create a pin. Put in your pin here and then you're going to confirm. After you confirm, click on OK down here below. So once again, once you put in your pin, just go on the bottom where it says OK. Click on OK. And from here, what I suggest doing is choosing yes for your location. Uh, a lot of apps, a lot of things need your location, so choose yes. If you don't want this to know your location, choose no. But generally speaking, most of you will want that. Now, find my device. This is important just in case you lose it or it gets stolen. This is good to have it on. So I would just turn it on. We're going to accept. And then from here, just scroll down. You're going to see this. 
and you're gonna see two options. So include optional or require only. So this part is about sending information. So if you guys want just the required or if you guys wanna send everything out to Microsoft so they know how to make things better for you, then go ahead and do that. For me, it's fine. Everything's good. So I'm gonna go into accept. I'd rather them getting everything because even if they, they're saying they don't, they really are. Anyways, right now it says improve inking and typing. Well, this part is about, again, your privacy. So if you guys wanna send that information to Microsoft about the links and everything or not, um, we're gonna go on and say yes. I do wanna send that. Now this part is all about diagnostics. A lot of you won't care about this. I would choose no, but some of you might want this. So just choose that data if you want to see that. Uh, let apps use their advertising. All right, so right here, it's all about ads. And basically, can they personalize this for you? Personalize ads or no? So it's all about tracking. I'm gonna choose yes. I'd rather get ads that are, I mean, if I'm gonna get ads, might as well have them personalized to me and not just have any type of ad. So I'm gonna go into yes. So right here, you have to register this product. It's something very important actually. So again, for your warranty and everything, you guys want to register this. So just putting your name, first name, last name, your email address. I would use the same email address that you use to send in with this. Could be another one though. And then just going to next. Once you do so, you're gonna see this, register and protect. So I would put a check mark on every single one. But again, you do not have to. This is just about how much you wanna share, how much you don't wanna share. So going to next on the bottom right hand side, and right here, this is gonna customize your experience. You can skip this, but it's actually pretty good just to get you started with this whole thing. So technically, if you're in development, you're probably not even watching this video, <laughs> but if uh, you guys are just gonna use this for a lot of Netflix and all that stuff, then go ahead, put a check mark there. Gaming, you're gonna do a lot of gaming, go ahead and do that. If you're gonna do both gaming and entertainment, then choose gaming. If you're gonna do primarily this for school, I mean, you can still do gaming entertainment, but primarily for school or work, just choose school. And then creativity. Well, this is more about like editing videos, pictures and all that stuff. If you, think, if you think you're gonna do everything here, just choose skip. But if you know that there's one main thing, because you will be able to do everything, but there's one main thing that you're gonna do then choose that particular thing. So. In this case, for me, it's kind of hard, but I know gaming is a good one. So we're gonna go ahead and do gaming. We're gonna choose entertainment, school, and creativity. So I'm pretty much choosing everything except for development because I won't be using this specifically for that. Then if you scroll down, you're gonna see more options such as business and family. So again, you do have those options. I'm gonna choose business as well. Choose accept, and then keep going. All right, this part's pretty cool because you guys can take your calls um, right here. So anything that's coming in, again, your calls can go right into your laptop, which is kind of nice. You guys will be able to also see your text messages and all that. And um, it's kind of nice to have that. So I would definitely scan this QR code, but if you don't want to, you can skip this. All right, and down here below, if you scroll down just a little bit, it's gonna tell you that for iPhone, you have to skip. And that's because for iPhones are just, they do that actually with your Mac and it does really well. Anyways, we're just gonna place on skip for now. And now this part, if you have an Android, especially Android, you're gonna want this to be yes, import. And that's because anything that you're working on your phone, you're looking at your phone, you can look it up here right away. So you can continue where you left off. So that's kind of neat. But if you don't just choose not now, going to next, now this you get one month free. This is Microsoft Office. So Microsoft Word, all that stuff, you get it free for one month. Then you have to pay for it. It is a subscription service. So some of you already have this and maybe you have the license for it. So you don't need this free trial. So if you have the license, do not choose this free trial. If you don't have it, then might as well get the free trial. You get a month free and then you can just buy it. But uh, in my case, I have the license. I'm gonna decline this. And then right here, it's gonna give you even more things that it can give you, but I'm gonna decline it too, because I don't really need it. But just read up about it, it's about storage, mainly storage, it is kinda cheap, kinda. And then go and if you guys wanna join this. Remember we set this up as gaming as well? Well, 
here it is. We have a few options to go ahead and join. We're gonna skip that for now. And for sure you're gonna, you guys wanna skip it if you already have all these things set up from previously. But if you're new, I would skip anyways and then set it up later. Just look into exactly what you want because there's so many things out there. Because technically, something like this isn't exactly for gaming. So if you're gonna game on something like this, you're gonna end up using something like GeForce or anything like that that streams games. There's a bunch of things out there, not just GeForce now, but uh, there's other websites you guys can use to stream games. So that way you don't actually download the game and install the game on your laptop, but you can play those games. So right now it's just gonna update. Um, you guys can just tap here to see what's going on. But other than that, it's just gonna teach you a little bit about it, but you have to wait down here below. It's gonna tell you how long it's gonna take to download. Uh, the latest update, and then you guys can just continue on. All right, so after a while, you should see something like so. Just click anywhere. Then it's gonna ask you for your pin, just put it in, and then finally, you're gonna be able to use this brand new laptop. Now, it's still gonna take a few minutes, but at this point, it shouldn't take that long to just start things off. And finally, finally, you are all done. That's it, that's all you guys have to do for the setup. You're all ready to go. You guys can go on and just mess around with anything you want, get started, look at everything that you're getting in here, which uh, is kind of showed you already. Now, this particular laptop is not the fastest in the world, so this will take a little bit to load up, but the very first time you load anything, it's always gonna take longer than later on. So right now, just make sure you're hooked up to your Wi-Fi network. I would still check for more updates, just in case there's more updates that are coming up. But as far as this video goes, we are all done. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.